She left home to join the assimilation movement, to find fulfillment, intellectual enlightenment. Some say it's a cult. Some call it the evolution of man. I didn't know what to make of it. Only that it had taken Yuki. It had taken my sister. Welcome back to Let's Play the Dishwasher. Let's wash some dishes. Let's ignore helper bots and fight zombies. There are only three in this room, but three is the loneliest number. Or was that one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was one. And now it's none. Get those spirals and forget those guys. They never happen. More soldiers and agents. You'd think by now they would understand that you need something a little bit better to take care of. I do not yield to fancy suits and explosives. That's not the way I do things. I am a woman of taste. You need to take me out. You need to serenade me. Perhaps drop some green skulls so that I may dispense some dish magic in a fanciful way. Something that will dazzle you forever. Ow. The one thing that kind of gets me is when I'm in the middle of a combo and it doesn't really matter where I am, but there will be this rogue agent or rogue soldier that'll hit me in the foot and it'll still connect. Four. Pretty sneaky, sis. That's all I've got to say. You can backflip some more. God! I could backflip too, but I'm not a damn show off. And now you don't have a head. So, with that out of the way, we should probably leave those guys there before the cops show up. Assuming this game has any cops. Assuming I'm not already fighting the cops. That was pretty sweet. I like that. So we're in another time challenge room. I'm sure you can guess what the reward for completing this one on time is. That's right! It's AIDS! Wait. No, it's just a psycho pick. Uh, it's close enough. It seems that we're always in need of a psycho pick. It's never the other way around. I'm never in need... Ow, I can't believe I got hit by that. I'm never in need of spirals. No, no. Always those damn psycho picks. So rare. They're so hard to find. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you know, I just, whatever. Messy kills are cooler. Health be damned. Oh, my goodness. There's so much blood in the room. Who is responsible for this horrible, horrible thing? I'm going to have to write them a letter. Possibly tell them to keep up the good work. Running kind of short on time here. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. All right, cool. Woo! Shaved it. The thing that makes this time challenge a little bit difficult is just because of the, those stacks of crates. And uh, they are multi-leveled, so you can kind of get stuck on the wrong level. It's, it's a thing. So, in here is where you find the key ring. Make sure you go here first of all, because without this you can't proceed the level. And picking up the key ring spawns some enemies in a very small room, which is you know, what I love. I love fighting soldiers in small rooms. I may have made this clear by now, but I'm not sure. But if I haven't, now you understand. Now you are more familiar with the way I, I operate. Let's kill these guys as quickly as possible. There's no timer, but I just I don't feel comfortable being this tiny little box car. Well, the seats are nice. I do enjoy the seats. We got rocket men all over the place. Get rid of them first. Because soldiers are too stupid. Rocket men mean business. They mean it. It's what they mean. Sometimes they mow them. And sometimes they need it. But only on special occasions. Like Thanksgiving. But that's a discussion for another time. Why are you even thinking about Thanksgiving? It's so early in the year. Goodness gracious. Get on track with the LP, please. Doing my job, do yours. Watch. Properly. Alright, I'm going to backtrack back to the beginning of the level here. Uh, because, as you may remember, there's a helper bot there, and I really want it. Because, uh, I got that psycho pick, and it's burning a hole in my pocket. So let us fully upgrade the sickles. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Doesn't really give us too many new combos, to be quite honest. But it does give us one that uh, I'm going to be abusing the hell out of. And uh, you'll see what it is. You'll see. You'll all see! No one is safe anymore. So now we've got the walker drones, and these are kind of silly, but equally dangerous if left up to their own devices. The cool thing about these things is they also have a messy death animation. 
Usually the bigger enemies, you know, not so much, but those guys, they're team players. They know what you want. You want to see things getting their legs ripped off and then, you know, getting beaten to death in set legs. That's what you want. And that's what they're there to deliver. It's a very, very fine balance that we have going here. Would you not kick me in the face, please? Kindly? Thank you. Unbelievable. Soldiers these days. I killed that one before I could use the prompt, but I'm just in so much of a frenzy right now. You don't even know. Like, if, if there were Shark Week going on on the Discovery Channel, it would pale in comparison to Dishwasher Week. Because, oh, you know why. I'm also kind of getting my ass kicked right now. Standing in front of bullets, it's not really a good way to stay alive. Uh, no one told me this, and uh, I, I'm kind of resenting that, because the least someone can do is uh, you know, not throw bombs at me just as I'm entering and exiting animations. Thank you, soldier. You've been demoted. You've been demoted one head. I am pretty close to death. It's, it's entirely possible that I may die this, this level. And that, that would be a shame. That would make me cry. Alright, so as you can see now, I'm kicking a lot of ass. Also, bullets in the air, not so much fun. But now with the sickles, things are going to be a little different around here. I'm not using them right now, but just wait until I do. And when I do, that's when the candy is going to be once again dead. We now have a triple dash attack with our sickles. And we can control which direction completely we go in during that time which is going to prove very excellent. Because not only do we attack enemies for a decent amount of damage, but we also evade enemies in the process. So uh, a really good combo to use is the, uh, the triple dash with the sickles, followed by an immediate switching to your shift blade to uh, eliminate the recovery time, and then continue into a combo from there. See? See? I know what I'm talking about. And it's going to help you a lot if you... Not that you have to. Just letting you know what's up. You know, just trying to be friends with you, trying to allocate some friend stats your way. That's all I'm about. I'm also about dish magic at inopportune times. Only two enemies on the screen? Why the heck not? It gets the job done. It gets the dishes washed. That's all that really matters today. And maybe even tomorrow. See, now we got the key ring used, now we can ex exit this place. Without them, you'd be stuck. And you'd be like, where do I go? I do not understand. What has happened? So I think this room is a, uh, a very good time for me to try and get some life back, so I'm going to uh, hopefully pay better attention to my prompts. There we go, and those were easy. Didn't get him, but I didn't need him. He was looking at me funny. He was giving me the stink eye behind those cool shades. Now we've got the Viking Cyborg, and he sure is a Viking. With all that Viking helmet and axe and deodorant spray. This boss is a great way to uh, test out your new 3 hit combo, although it can be made. It can be made. Just know that, if you ever need some making. It can be made to be a little bit difficult, since there are zombies all over the place. And, uh, hope I have enough time to switch it. Nope. Didn't have enough time to switch it. I'll work it. So this Viking has a few uh, combos that involve his axe when they're not in, embedded in his face, and he also has electricity attacks, which are all incredibly easy to avoid with this dash move that I'm spamming on. See? It's beautiful. And it also has the added bonus of attacking his own cohorts, assuming they're on the same side. It's really hard to, uh, to gauge zombie allegiance, but that doesn't matter, because now the Viking is pretty dead. We'll be pining the fjords next time on Let's Play the Dishwasher.